Welcome back YouTubers, Daniel Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. In this lesson we're finally going to get started with these wonderful things called Form Controls, ActiveX Controls. What are they? They've, they are buttons, uh, combo boxes, check boxes, option buttons, text fields, uh, pictures that you can click on and make macros run, um, toggle buttons, um, text boxes, uh, scroll bars, all kinds of good stuff. So we're going to get started immediately. Today I think we'll just take a text box and a button and we will use those two in our lesson. So what's a text box? Um, what, how is it different from a cell? Cells contain text. Well, a text box is... Uh, hmm, it's hard to describe. I'm going to go ahead... Oops. I'm going to go ahead and click this insert button and we might as well go into design mode. Notice I'm on the developer tab. We're going to insert. I like to typically use these ActiveX controls because uh, you can directly affect what happens when they're clicked rather than having to design a macro and then just run that single solitary macro off of the form controls. So, and note all the, the, that all of these buttons here are somewhat volatile. If you run a report, sometimes they'll they'll relocate or resize themselves on the page. So that's why user forms are much more recommended. We will go ahead and go over worksheet controls. Anyways, so let's go ahead and place a text box right about here. You can size it any way you like. Let's size it about like that. Okay, so there's our first one. It, by default, it's called text box one. If I created another one, it'd be called text box two. You can go into the name field and we'll rename it. We'll call this one TB for text box and then a capital letter. Let's call this person, person one, enter. Okay, so now uh, TB person one is what this is called. Now we're going to go to insert, and in the ActiveX controls, we'll insert a command button. I want that button. Ooh, that's a little big. I'll resize that to about there. And it looks like the font is jacked up quite a bit. I'm going to right click and go to properties. You'll see the properties menu pops up. So the caption is what you may be seeing right here. Not the name, but the caption. So for example, Ooh, why is that font so big? Let's change the font right here. And we'll change that to, let's say, size 8. I wonder if that'll, that'll do it. Hmm. Maybe we need to make it even smaller. Okay. Hello. Like I said, some of these are pretty volatile. So here's our button. We'll, we'll change that to press here. All right, you'll notice when you double click on either of these, for example, command, we'll call this command button. Instead of command button one, we'll call it BTN button. Uh, press here. Why not? Okay, so if you click on them when you're in design mode, it'll just allow you to edit them in the properties window or resize them. We take design mode off, and you have an actual why is it making those so large? Hmm. Uh, oh, I guess it's because I zoomed in. I need to make these a little bigger. Yeah, it's because I zoomed in so much. That's okay. And to zoom in, I hold control and I use my scroll wheel. In and out, okay? That's how I'm zooming. Okay. So this is actually the right size. Um, we've got TB person, we'll call this button press here. Now let's get to the nitty gritty. Double click on the press here button. Notice it says private sub button press here underscore click. So that tells me right off the bat there's a lot of stuff you can do. You could make somebody double click on the button before it runs the macro, but by default it just thinks you're gonna click the button. So oh, there's a sneak peek into what I'm about to do. What we're doing here, let's say that somebody clicks on one of the names in our dudes list. Let's say they click on Dan, that's a good name here. So, double click in here again. How about, uh, and you can say me dot, 
and that does anything, a button or a macro or whatever that's associated with me. Me is, in this case, is the workbook, this workbook. So me dot tb, ah, tb person one, that's our text box called person one, dot value equals, uh, how about whatever the selection is? So as soon as I click this button, it's going to run this one liner that says, well, you know, whatever the selection is, that's what I want the value of the text box called TB person. Let's try it. And take design mode off. So now you have a legitimate button. And let's click on this. Dan. Joe, how about Sally? Ooh, cool. Go back to design mode just for kicks. Let's say this equals the word biscotti ampersand and whatever the selection is. So let's try that. Whoops, design mode off. Press here, press here, press here. Biscotti Joe. Let's open that up a little bit. Oops. Biscotti, Biscotti Joe, Biscotti Dan. And if we want to put a space there, we can obviously put a space marker there. Biscotti space and Joe or selection, whatever selection is. Biscotti space Sally. Biscotti space Jess, Bob. So anyway, that's our first lesson. And just note that whenever you are in design mode, when you click here or here, you can access the properties by right clicking and going to properties. And there's a lot of properties in here, so check those out, mess around with them. Thanks for watching.